Hey everyone, today we're in beautiful Bisbee, Arizona. We're not here to prospect for gold, but last week we were in Prescott, Arizona. And we went out on the Lynx Creek and we panned for gold for about a week. So why don't you come with us and see what we found, because this time we did find gold. Yes, we did. Come along. Come along. Let's go. We are in beautiful Prescott, Arizona in the Lynx Lake Recreation Area. We spent most of our time in this area down Banny Mine Road. Prescott is located about 85 miles north of Phoenix in the Bradshaw Mountains. Most of the trees are pine and the elevation is approximately 5,400 feet. We decided to visit this location for its rich history of gold prospecting. Much of this area has been heavily prospected and over 100,000 ounces of gold have been taken from the creek. Nevertheless, there are several areas that are open to the public for gold mining and prospecting. The section that we went down can be found about seven miles on Walker Road in the Prescott National Forest. Unfortunately, we are traveling in our motorhome, which is usually a great thing, but in this case, we needed to walk into our panning location. The other great spots for gold panning in the area are the Lynx Creek Panning Area and Fane Park. We tried both of these spots for panning and metal detecting with limited luck. We spent several days digging, classifying, and panning our material for gold. We were thrilled to find that this area provided us with at least some gold flakes in nearly every pan. I thought I'd introduce everybody to Brandon. He's the Colorado Gold Guide. We met him on Lynx Creek, uh, maybe last week, and he's the guy who showed, showed us what to look for in our pans. So if you need someone to help you figure out how to pan for gold, this is the guy to get a hold of. Only a pan and a shovel and dig only in the creek, but uh, it's a spot you can get lucky. There's some bigger gold here. Well, this is the area that we got that dirt out of just now. If you look around, this is what the other area around here looks like. Big piles of rocks where people have cleared dirt out. There's big tunnels that go into all these little areas where people are trying to go down and get the good dirt. So it looks like one of the holes. So we're gonna take our bucket back and give it a try. The panning process does not leave you only with your gold. We still have to separate the gold from the black sand, rock, and soil. This is a tedious process and definitely a labor of love. In order to separate the material, we panned it down further back at our motorhome. This process involves using a special magnet to remove the black sand, heating the material over a stove to dry it, using Kim's kettle, and then finally separating the material manually with a magnifying glass and tweezers. In the end, we had success and accomplished exactly what we set out to do. We found gold. 